If you've ever struggled with poor soil, you know how frustrating it can be. Your plants look stunted, water either drains too fast or not at all, and no matter how much fertilizer you add, nothing seems to thrive. But what if I told you there's an easier way? Instead of wrestling with endless amendments, smart gardeners use just three powerhouse ingredients to fix any soil type, without breaking a sweat. Whether your soil is too sandy, too compacted, or just plain lifeless, these three ingredients will turn it into a thriving, plant-friendly powerhouse. Even better, you can make them yourself. Let's jump in. No matter what's wrong with your soil, compost is the one thing that will always improve it. It's the secret ingredient behind every successful garden and for good reason. It adds nutrients, improves structure, and feeds beneficial microbes. How compost fixes different soils. For sandy soil, compost adds much needed organic matter, helping sandy soil retain water and nutrients. For clay soil, compost breaks up heavy clay, improving drainage and aeration. For poor, lifeless soil, compost introduces essential microbes and nutrients that bring soil back to life. How to make your own compost. 1. Choose a composting method. Bin, pile, or tumbler. A tumbler speeds up decomposition, while a pile requires less maintenance. 2. Layer greens and browns. Greens like food scraps and grass clippings provide nitrogen, while browns like leaves and cardboard provide carbon. 3. Keep it moist but not soggy. Aim for the consistency of a wrung-out sponge. 4. Turn occasionally. Every few weeks mix your compost to aerate and accelerate breakdown. 5. Check for readiness. When compost is dark, crumbly, and smells like fresh earth, it's ready to use. Advanced composting tips. Speed it up by chopping materials into smaller pieces before adding them. Avoid bad odors by maintaining the right balance of greens and browns. Winter composting. Insulate your bin with straw or leaves to keep microbes active. How to use compost effectively. Top dress beds and containers. Spread a one to two inch layer on top of your soil each season. Mix into new planting holes. Blend compost with existing soil before planting. Make compost tea. Soak compost in water for 24 hours and use the nutrient-rich liquid as a foliar spray. If compost is the foundation of healthy soil, mulch is its protective shield. Mulch keeps moisture in, prevents weeds, and slowly breaks down into organic matter, further enriching the soil. How mulch fixes soil problems. For dry, fast-draining soil, mulch slows evaporation and retains moisture. For compacted soil, Mulch encourages earthworms and microbes that naturally aerate the soil. For depleted soil, organic mulch like shredded leaves, straw or wood chips slowly decomposes, adding nutrients. How to make your own mulch? 1. Gather organic materials. Leaves, grass clippings, wood chips, straw or shredded newspaper. 2. Chop larger pieces. Use a mower or shredder for leaves and small branches. 3. Store it properly. Keep in a dry place until needed. 4. Apply a 2-3 inch layer around plants leaving a gap around the base to prevent rot. Choosing the right mulch. For vegetables, straw, grass clippings or shredded leaves work best. For trees and shrubs, wood chips or bark mulch provide long-lasting coverage. For weed control, a thick layer of wood chips or cardboard suppresses weeds effectively. How to mulch correctly? Use organic mulch. Avoid dyed or chemically treated wood chips. Replenish seasonally. As mulch breaks down, add fresh layers to maintain benefits. Don't overdo it. Too much mulch can suffocate plant roots. Stick to 2 to 3 inches. If you want an effortless way to boost soil fertility and plant health, worm castings are the answer. These tiny, nutrient-packed granules improve soil structure, increase water retention, and introduce beneficial microbes. Why worm castings work? For nutrient-deficient soil packed with plant-ready nutrients that won't burn roots. For heavy clay or sandy soil, improves texture and aeration. For pest and disease resistance, the beneficial microbes help suppress harmful pathogens. How to make your own worm castings. 1. Set up a worm bin. Use a ventilated container with bedding like shredded newspaper or coconut coir. 2. Add composting worms. Red wigglers work best. 3. Feed them regularly small amounts of fruit and veggie scraps, avoiding citrus and dairy. 4. Harvest castings. After a few months, collect the dark, rich castings from the bottom of the bin. Advanced worm composting tips. Keep worms happy by maintaining a bin temperature between 55 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Avoid overfeeding to prevent odor and fruit flies. Harvest without harming worms by pushing fresh food to one side so they migrate before collection. 
Easy ways to use worm castings. Mix into potting soil. Just a handful per container makes a big difference. Top dress around plants. Sprinkle around the base of flowers, herbs, or veggies. Make a worm casting tea. Soak in water and use as a natural liquid fertilizer. By using compost, mulch, and worm castings, you can fix any soil issue without endless labor. Here's how to apply them effortlessly. 1. Spread 1 to 2 inches of compost over your garden beds at the start of each season. 2. Apply a 2 to 3 inch layer of mulch to lock in moisture and enrich the soil. 3. Add worm castings whenever you plant for an instant boost. 4. Observe and adjust. Keep an eye on soil texture and make small adjustments as needed. That's it. No complicated soil testing or expensive amendments, just three simple ingredients that do all the hard work for you. Gardening shouldn't feel like a battle against bad soil. With these three simple ingredients, you can transform any dirt into rich, thriving soil with minimal effort. If this guide helped you, share it with your fellow gardeners and subscribe to Hydrohaven for more easy, effective gardening tips.